Hi, I'm Matt McClellan, and this is a brief tutorial on configuring Microsoft Installer or MSI logging. So first off, what is MSI? Well, MSI is just a file extension that stands for Microsoft Installer. And we use these logs to troubleshoot problems that happen when you install CIC applications. So there are times that support will ask you to gather the MSI logs maybe for the IC user apps install. And this is what we're talking about. And the reason why we need a little extra work to be able to gather these things is that they're not turned on by default and this is because we don't want to take up disk space on every user computer. So there are two methods for collecting um, and gathering these logs. So I'll talk briefly about both of those and then after that I'll show you where they're located. So let's get started. So the first method I'm going to talk about is definitely the easier version. I am on the Microsoft support website. I will post this link at the end of the video, um, but you can see this is a KB article on how to enable Windows installer logging. So before they actually tell you the manual steps you can do, you've got this new section of the website called Fix It For Me. This is great. This is really easy. Um, you've essentially got an on and an off button here located in a web page. The first one enables it. The second one over here disables it. So I'm just going to click on this Microsoft Fix It link, which is going to download a executable program. I'm just going to go ahead and click on Run so that I can do it straight from uh, straight from the download. I click on Agree. Notice though that if you have User Account Control turned on, it's going to approve, need an approval from an administrator of this computer before you actually execute it. So just something to keep in mind if your users are not able to launch applications as administrator. But I'm going to go ahead and say yes. It's going to take a couple seconds to run. And after it's done running, I'm going to get this final box here that says everything has been turned on. What I have done in essence is I have uh, turned on some things in the Windows registry so that MSI logs will be generated. I will show you where to go get them here after I show you the second way of doing it, which is the manual way, which is what this application just did for you. The second method of turning on MSI logging is a little more complex and involves knowing a little bit about the Windows Registry Editor. So I'm in this same KB article from Microsoft and below the fix it for me is some step-by-step -step instructions of how to set the proper registry key. Um, it looks a little complex, but it's pretty simple. You're going to go into the registry editor, which I'll do now. Quickest way is to go to start, run, type in reg edit, which will open up the registry editor after you approve through user account control. And the key we're looking for is underneath H key local machine, software, policies, Windows, I'm sorry, Microsoft, Windows, and installer. Kind of makes sense. We're trying to turn on logging. And notice there's a key in here that says logging. And at the moment, there's no data set for it. So if I double click on this, it gives me the opportunity to put in some type of value. If I go back to the website, um, notice the value they want you to put in here is voice warm up X. And that's a combination of switches that um, you can turn on and off. So if you turn them all on, uh, you'll spell voice warm up X. I don't know how they came to that conclusion, but uh, it's pretty slick and easy to remember. So all we're going to do is actually copy this value out of here, and we're just going to paste it into the registry editor. I say, there we go. And once I click OK, you'll see it's reflected in here. And I have, in essence, done the exact same thing that the downloadable Microsoft program just did. As soon as you set it, it's live and in effect. And when I go to run an installer, a log file will be generated. To prove this out, I'm going to go ahead and run a .msi installer. It's going to go ahead and start. And then the next question is, well, where are these things located at? Well. To find out where MSI logs are stored, you have to find where the current user's temporary directory, Windows temporary directory is. The easiest way and quickest way to do that is once again to go to a run prompt and to type percent temp percent. This pulls up the user's environment variable for their directory and in fact will open up that directory for you. 
MSI logs begin with MSI and they end with .log. So once you're in this folder, you might have several MSI logs in this folder. Uh, the one you're looking for is typically the one that has the most current timestamp. That's the one. So you can see this installer has kicked off. It's running while it runs. Different things are going to be written to the file. Also, sometimes you may see temporary files are generated. But once the install has completed, you will have this log. This is the log that support once. And inside of it, there's going to be all sorts of tracing as far as what happened during the actual, actual installation. To summarize this, go to the Microsoft KB article that I've listed here in the slide, and that will give you the two options. You can run the Microsoft Fix It, which will set the registry key for you, or you can manually go into RegEdit and set the key for yourself. To locate the log file, utilize that temp environment variable by going to run and typing percent temp percent, and that will open up the directory that has the file, and then get that log file from your install and send it to support so they can help. And now you are a master at setting up MSI logging. Thanks for watching this just in time video short. I'm Matt McClellan.